Hello, thank you for joining me on another episode of Welcome to My World. So, I don't know if you can hear that buzzing, but Sam is in the garage again in his workshop. So, I thought I'd do another little update video of what he's been up to since I last did a video and just show you some bits that he's done extra. He's been organising, um, and today he's putting up some bits on the wall. So, I'm going to take you in and show you what he's up to. Again, this video is just going to be random days um, as and when he's in the garage. I'm showing you as he does bits or sometimes after when he's doing bits because depending on what he's doing it might be messy in there and it messes on the camera so uh, <laughs> yeah this little um, series with Samuel in the garage slash his workshop will be ongoing for a while and I will drop a video every now and then to let you know what he's been up to can you let me in you're decent, I'm recording. Oh, of course I am. Watch your head that I haven't pushed it up all the way. There you go, I made your coffee. Oh, thanks very much. You're welcome. How are you going? Just come to see what you're up to. No, I'm making more mess. I've oh. had to push everything down this end of the left bench off so I can put the uh, pegboard up. And then after that, I'm going to move it all the other end to put the whiteboard up. Oh, I'm going to stay this end because it looks dangerous climbing over that. And I've got uh, shoes with my toes out. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely some spiky stuff there. Yeah. What are you doing then? I can hear you cutting. Uh, you heard me drilling. Oh, that one. Yeah, that one. Yeah. Um, just um, drill the holes in the bricks for the raw plugs in. Now I'm just putting the screws in to hold this pickboard up. Nice. How many you got through, is it? Six. There's six in there? Oh no, I thought you meant the amount of screws in the wall. I was like, oh, I don't remember that many. I don't remember that yeah, many. Yeah, three. Three, we'll have to get you some more as well. You seven and a half each. Did you want some more? Did the three? Yeah, see how much room they take up. To put the lathe tools over the lathe, but until Good idea. it's painted on the other side and all the rest of it, and I know it's not leaking, I don't want to yeah, of course. risk it, because these no. aren't aluminium, they uh, uh, steel, so they will rust. Right. Right. Right, that should line up now. I've got to get everything off of there so I can use it. <laughs> hey, you got more um, carpet tack things, so if we make a yeah, little... Yeah, spares. If we make a little frame for me tuft in, yeah. um, we'll have something to clip the wood on. Yeah, like, we did have clip the fluff spare, on. but that all fell over yesterday and I haven't picked it up yet. Just That's keep chucking stuff over there. Well, this corner is uh, empty now. That's your whiteboard. That'll be gone on the wall. Yeah. And uh, all the stuff yesterday, Sam put to the tip. All the colour gas bottles, the, the old boiler. Uh, there was a load of cardboard went as well. Yeah. So I take it once he tidies up again in here. This will all be gone. He's got all his bits here. And yeah. Said, eh? Did you screw them on? No. I'm just not going to move around. On the slippiest surface there is. Is that one? I've bolted them all together, they all attach to each other. I was going to say, I don't remember being that big, I thought they were only little. That's only little then. We definitely need more than that. That's tiny. Please be careful. Um, 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 um. Yeah, I think another one. I think it needs something to hold the bottom in, the bottom's like. I think it's because the wall's not quite square. The bottom hangs out a bit. Maybe when it's got some weight on it, that I just hold it square to the wall. Can't you just drill through it? No, like put really a hole at the end of it. Don't really want to, but could do. Yeah. Just need like one in that corner and one in that corner. Yeah, because that's annoying. Maybe you need another one here next to it. There's going to be a whiteboard going down there soon. Oh, is that where your whiteboard's going? Well. Not above this, because this just kicks dust out everywhere. Maybe like what so about I don't here? Put anything behind that, but the whiteboard well, your red is over that one. Yeah. So now we've got all the various bits. 
for holding various tools that I'll have to sort through and hang on there. Exciting. Oh yeah, it comes with bits. And there's all these bits as well. If I move your chair, I might be able to squeeze across and not hurt myself. I think you just made it look harder than it was. She says she's about to fall over. <laughs> look at that, I made it. Easy well, that's peasy. That's spanners, but my spanners are already organised. Look like, like they all just clip into place. Huh. Well, I've got to line it up, but I'm not doing a good job of it like that. Oh, that's crap and wobbling. That's why I'm saying it needs another screw, like down here and down here. I thought they'd be bigger than and that, it but... it will hold itself solid. Hey-ho. But that's easy enough to do. But these would look nice, like, if you had, like, another one here, and then, like, two above that side. Just loads of them. Oh, a little pencil holder. <laughs> it's adorable. You don't want to go. Oh. You don't want to go. There we go. What you get with it? Some All little bits. Of packets and bits. Nice. So these ones will go in the holes either side. I'd put some heavier bits on the edges, you know, like. What would you put on them then? You could use more than one, like if you had two like that, you could hang a saw from it kind of thing. A saw? You need all sorts. Like in a shop? I think what I'm going to do for now is put all of these on here. And then think what you've got in the range after. Yeah, arrange it afterwards. Uh, you've got to put them on the lines, not between the lines. <laughs> I've got more of these in it. Oh yeah. In fact, if I've got many more bags of them, three <laughs> bags of them. <laughs> then there's this container. There's this thing which is like a screwdriver holder, which you can put like there and mount all your screwdrivers. You've got any screw? You've got your Ryobi screwdrivers, I've got, yeah? Yeah. And then there's this type of thing, which is... You got some of those, some What's of those. Like? Could put all sorts of things in these. Nice. Oh, Quite a few bits with them. Well. Nice. Depending on what you want to put in them. Well, I just come to see where you uh, were up to, what you were doing. I'm going to leave you to it again because I'm going to do some turning Ooh. on me. Uh, well, I look forward to seeing what you make. Yeah, I've already made some, so I'm going to go and make a short now, which. If you want to watch it, guys, it'll be on YouTube by the time this goes up. And, uh, yeah. I'll, uh, come back in a sec when he's put these on and then I'm leaving. Yeah. What's that? Screwdriver. Screwdriver, right. He's put all his bits on, not how he's going to have it, is it? Just, no, it's just so you can see, see what you've there. got. Actually, and, you see uh, there's one more of these. There we go. I think once I've arranged it all, I'll put some extra screws in like that. Yeah, so it stays against it the, the wall. wall. And you'll have symmetrical, will you? No. You know, like... Well, that. I don't have symmetrical tools. You know, like that? Them two, like, would you have them on the same row? Because I won't be able to come in here with, like, things like that. Anyway. Oh, right, OK. Uh, let me just... Uh, <laughs> hang on. Oh, it's got it. Perfect. Yeah, but that's fine, because <laughs> it's not, like, to my OCD brain, that's... On a different road, but just like that tiny bit close where it could have been the same. Yeah, even that don't bother me. And all that. It's just when you have it like on the same row, but, but like, oh my god. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so these are all his bits that he's got. What's this bit? Spanners. Spanners. Uh, screwdrivers and various upright tools. Screwdrivers and various upright tools. Things for hanging things like saws. So some of them are different levels, of, um, different lengths, aren't they? Yeah. And then these ones, what are these ones? Uh, it could be all sorts of things. So you don't know. <laughs> no, I'm saying there's lots of options. <laughs> I'm only joking. You don't know. And then you've got a pencil, I mean a pen holder, and 
Just for little odds and sods, nuts yeah. and bolts and things. Nuts and bolts, and just when you put Fuses, your nuts in here. Whatever. Right, anyway, I'm leaving, it's cold in here. Thanks for uh, showing us about again. No worries, I'm um, going to continue with this for I don't know how long. Let's see I'm you. It. Can you just look at me a minute? I'm looking at you. That's lovely, I might use that as a thumbnail. Right, okay, see ya. See you soon. Bye. Right, so it's a few days later and we are back. Sam has finished his pegboard, is it? Pegboard. Yeah. So let's have a little tour of his pegboard. So I've got what you got, Ryobi glasses, safety goggles that you don't wear. Do you wear them? Yeah, I do. Do you? Yeah, you just assume that I don't. I've never seen you when we've worked together, I mean, but I guess you do more dangerous stuff in here now. You've got your little Bosch, that's mine. Right, no, should, it isn't. Should be mine because it's got the same brand as I use, your Ryobi. Are these some discs? Yeah, cutting discs and sanding wheels. Nice. You've got your little Christmas trees. <laughs> Step to drill bits. Exactly. That's what I said. Christmas trees. You've got that long one there. Ruler. Is that a ruler? Yeah, but you've got a set square on the end of it. Set square, Christmas tree. Right. Cut some of your bits along here. Then we'll move along here to the mascot. This is Mario the mascot. Yeah. And then we've got a little triangular. Um, <laughs> square. Triangular square. Makes sense. Um, some of them. Pliers. Oh, look, you've got more right over your hammer. you got your little. Uh, Tool clips. That I brought you then, but you've got nothing to clip on them, have you? They fit on uh, most of the tools, not on all of them. Oh, it'd have to be higher as well, wouldn't it? I wouldn't hang the tools off there, it's more if you're using it up high somewhere yeah. and you want to attach it to you so it doesn't fall off. Yeah, and then you've got your little radio. Do you listen to that in here? Yeah. I don't know what he does in here to be fair because I don't come in when you're working. He's probably having a party in here, aren't you? The only stuff I've done in here is tidying. <laughs> and then you've got stuff up here that... Most of the stuff I think I brought, yeah. For Christmas. Not this, this is your expensive uh, mallet that I brought you a few years ago. And then Sam's little mascot dog also that he loves, didn't you? Come from our other house. It needs a bit of a restore. Sam's so going to ramp it, maybe get a little new little light or fix that one. Look at your light. Dusty. So everything's dusty in here. But yeah, so this is um, where Sam... like a little workshop blower. Yeah, he's up to... You can pay me, I'll come in here and just blow stuff off the... Countless times, <laughs> just like <sighs> might be here a while. Yeah, but yeah. So that's Sam's little peg board, looking nice and all organised. And when he's done some more tidying in the garage workshop, I will uh, come back and show you. I'm not sure if I showed you that last time. My garage, my rules. Right, we're back. Last bit of footage for this video. It's a shorter one than normal, but Sam tells me he's tidies it up it's tidier than it was it's nowhere near finished let's have a look. no i know we're not finished but we're just doing little updates as we go along okay let's start on this side so we come in here it's got all oh, you got all oh, you would even neater now so that's mainly the uh laminated panels so some of those are for old wardrobes and things and then there's the remainder of the insulation buffalo board that's what you've used on your workbenches haven't you yeah, uh, that side's got the buffalo board and the plywood and MDF and stuff. The side? Yeah, and, uh, that's going to have to move at some point because I need to try and level out the floor and put a pillar drill in there, which may or may not fit. Oh, yeah, because it's currently laying on here. Your pillar drill has got a big pillar drill, it's just going. Oh, you've got your big light up. Uh, I put that there because it was getting in the way in the cupboard. That's really bright, like it. Um, and it gets really hot, doesn't it? So yeah, I don't know if I'm going to use here. it for, at the moment, though, it's going to sit there. So you've got your workmate down here. Yeah, there's a lathe down here and other bits of pillar So you've got your lathe which you cleaned all before, didn't you? And now you've got to clean it It all was again. all nicely restored but it's all rusty now. Yeah, it's got his toilet roll under it when he has a poo in the corner. That's kitchen roll. Oh, do you want the bomber kitchen roll? Yeah. <laughs> Shit in the bin. Stop it! Um, yeah, so there's just some stuff that don't not going to live under there. These edges need to be painted where they've been cut because all that would seal normally. Do, 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 do. Sad edges. So this is your pillar drill. 
it's yeah. gonna go like in this gap here hopefully it fits between where the bench yeah. the base ends is on the floor with the and bed there. and the pillar <coughs> yeah all down there and then yeah. we move Under along there's oh. all the spare wood for turning and materials and stuff. are your blocks yeah all your blanks rather is it your blanks what you call them it is yeah then my over. saw's now more or less leveled oh yeah because so you can put the pieces of wood across here yeah, you've set that lower it's very yeah. clever the bench grinder i need to replace these because these got damp in the summer house so if i start them up there's a good possibility they just explode yeah they don't do that down here under your there's mitre saw the transformer for the mitre saw there's a vacuum that i'm going to use for dust extraction and this is just an old one for cleaning up around the workshop right and then like i said over here we've got this which is probably broke so it ain't dried out I think enough. what I'm going to do is I might put a vice on this corner where that filler drill is. Where are there? Yeah, and then that bench grind is going to go on the end of that bench over there when I can eventually assemble it and we seal that wall up. Yeah, so you seen his um, pegboard. And then he's got space over here. And then, yeah, this is his lamp. I think I need to get a little workshop blower to get some of the dust out of here because... <laughs> It gets very dusty when you're sanding and stuff. Hit a little wipe off. Uh, and then this is another bench, but Sam can't obviously do this because... Yeah, so that's the, the one for the lathe and leaking. the bench grinder. So I don't want to put the worktops on it because they'll just get covered in water and then start warping and go manky. So until that wall's sorted, this bench can't really be used properly. It's just storage for random items at the moment. Got your cider maker. Yeah. Or you can make anything, I guess, got your beer cider. And then eventually, when we sort this wall out, this is where Sam's um, cabinets yeah, are going to so go. So we're going to have a cabinet over. here. Then we're going to have a door here, are we? Are yeah, we having so a door in between? These two brick posts will be where the door goes. Door. And then the other one. Where will the other one go? Where will the other cabinet go? Where it is. It's not going to move. Oh, this one will stay here. This one is going here. Sounds like we've got Right, and then... I'll put this down, because the door's insulated now, that'll make it quieter. Sam's insulated the back of the uh, garage door. Eventually, he's going to insulate in the yeah, whole of here. Yeah, this whole room will be insulated, then I'll put some basic heating in. Yeah, some decking. Decking? Not uh, decking. I'm going to seal the rafters, <laughs> though, and seal all this up. Yeah. Maybe put, definitely put some better lighting up. Yeah. Are you showing us in your cabinets? Can do. Okay, let's go this one. That's going to be new because I need to put the glue gun back. Look at him, he's all organised, all his tools. Non Ryobi, this is his non Ryobi cupboard. This and is the uh, non power tool cupboard. This yeah. is all the accessories and bits. Look at these, these are cool. There's some more in the other cupboard, I couldn't fit them all. Yeah. I'm thinking maybe putting them along that wall on some kind of like. What? We've had some kind of maybe under there some kind of shelf that was tilted like that, and then I can just stack them all along it. On your foam inserts. Yeah. Okay. Nice. They will get dirty when you. Oh, of course. They but will. you're going to blow them off anyway, aren't you? Yeah. You're going to get something to blow. Once I've got off. the actual stuff in the top, I'm going to try and put some form of dust extraction, which will sort most of it out, and then, yeah. And then get some kind of workshop blower or something to just dust things off. So that's the other ones, there's spanners, screwdrivers and more spanners. Pretty cool. Just a few? Yeah. <laughs> Toolbox down there, your wellies down there. Wellies? Your little spanners. What's wellies? Just joking, it looks like wellies, it looks like some boots on camera. Um... Maybe two. That's not a toolbox, that one, is it? Is that the Hoover thing that I brought? That's you? a toolbox, that one's the Hoover. Oh, that's the one the Hoover I brought, yeah. Ryobi Hoover, that one. Mm. And then this is his Ryobi tools. All of them? Uh, I think that's all of them, yeah. Yeah. And then you've got Except your six, for the radio. Then you've got your little charger thing down here. And yeah, obviously you've got your radio. That's good for him here. It's quite loud. Right, so yeah, that is um, Sam's workshop. Again, it is a work in progress. It's going to take 
a long long time we've done some rooms in the houses and we have done um well sam's done here as much as he can it's a usable now. space now yeah well ish and i think next not the next video but i think um we're gonna stop doing stuff on the house now because of the weather and we're gonna um start on the garden we're gonna i'm so excited to start on the garden i guess one of the first things is gonna be we've got to sort out the tortoise run because he'll be awake soon yeah we've got to put tom um yeah we've got to get tom's room built for when he wakes up from hibernation oh, right. and um yeah the garden we're gonna we finish the chicken run at the back that's all done we're gonna have some trees down that side we'll get some nice chunky stones yeah and on the left side we've got to cut the trees back some more and the tops off yeah, we need to take all the ivy out the top and then we can take it down maybe a foot. Yeah, and then... Um, then we need to sort out maybe a concrete slab for a garage. We also want to do a garage? green one. Not a garage, a uh, shed. Shed. Hopefully like something plastic so it doesn't rot away. Yeah. Then we'll sort out a greenhouse because yeah, they have glass and metal so they don't rot. And then we're going to have a pond. And then a pond. Uh, and then we a also fire need to area. sort out the summer, summer house. house. Yeah, because until that's done, I can't do that wall back there. And yeah, we can't afford to replace that. And the size of it is lovely. So we're going to, as and when we get to it, well, hopefully soon, because we need yeah. to sort it for that leaking wall, don't we? Well, bricks on garages are all just single layer. It's the same on pretty much every house in the UK. Yeah. So if you get heavy rain going against it, like we do because of the summer house roof just pouring water onto it it's going to see through yeah we've got lots to do but we've also we, got to do uh, the alleyway yeah got to get door under the door oh my god just so much to do it's never ending i'm sure we've done really well we've literally been in since october and we've done living room dining room rewire new floor rewire boards. new floor um my craft room this in here as much as you've done yeah and the animal room so we've still got a few rooms left but like i said we're down in tools and the, the chickens and the chickens and the garden yeah. with all the hedges kev helped us with that yeah so we've got a few rooms to do still but we're gonna like i said we're gonna concentrate more on the garden and then when the weather's crappy again we can come back to the house and we'll just keep doing it like that we'll just keep going back and forth from house to garden house to garden our own house now yeah can you believe it we're paying for it yeah slowly <laughs> yeah Right, so I'm going to leave it there. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy these update house videos and there's loads more to come. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you next Friday. Hopefully, I'm not sure if I've got a video next Friday or not, but if I do, we'll be here, won't we? Aye. Hmm. Ciao.